This is Chicago's very own WGN Morning News at 7. Time now for Round Town. Hey, Anna. We're at Northwestern University. Welcome to a home that can live completely off the grid. It was created by students for a special competition. And you know why it can live off the grid? Because look up top, solar panels here. Like, Anna, we've seen solar panels before. Well, wait a minute. These ones are the actual ceiling. They're integrated into the home. And this home is now being taken to the, Depart the U.S. Department of Energy's Solar Decathlon competition in Denver, Colorado. 12 universities are participating. One of them is Northwestern. And this home operates completely based on those solar panels. We'll show you more of the cool features they have inside, all thought out by students coming up around town. Back to you. Enable House by Northwestern is ready for competition. Lila Reynolds is one of the students that participated in designing this home that is solar powered, but also has a lot of really cool sustainable features. Good morning. Morning. Tell me about the kitchen, specifically this countertop and the bottom. Sure. So this counter is all made from recycled materials, so industrial waste sites which have uh, refrigerators and uh, ovens that need to be recycled mm -hmm. uh, are all in this counter. Also, the bottom looks like marble. Right, so you think it's stone, but it's mm -hmm. actually made out of the same type of glass as your cell phone screen. So, but it's backsplash painted to look like marble. That is so cool. When we come back, we'll show you more around town this morning from Northwestern University. Back to you. All right. Time now for around town. Hey, Anna, what's going on? Pardon the dust, but Enable by House by Northwestern is about to leave for con for a uh, competition, and I'm here with Bill. Bill, you're one of the student designers, right? Yes. Good I'm morning. Me. Morning. All right, tell me about the name of the competition and what is it all about? So the competition is called the Solar Decathlon Competition. It is a Department of Energy competition run every two years where different college teams design and compete with solar-powered homes. Okay, so this was a solar-powered home, but it has a lot of cool features. If I lay on this bed and I put all my weight on this little corner, mm -hmm. it turns, it, there's a sensor under me right here, and it'll turn on and off a nightlight. So right now it's off. Yeah. So let's say I have to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Explain what I should do. So if you have to go to the bathroom, you stand up in the mm -hmm. middle of the night, it's dark outside. Right. Um, and after a few seconds, the nightlight will actually turn on, mm -hmm. and you'll get that, and it'll light your path on your way to the bathroom so you don't have to worry about turning on lights. So a lot of sustainable features, a lot of healthy living here. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the washer and dryer, because I know that I don't see a lot of the cables and pipes that I need in mine. Yes. Yeah, so uh, wash, our washer and dryer is a uh, heat pump mm -hmm. washer and dryer, so they actually don't need vents, so you don't have to vent it. You can basically place it anywhere, and they're a compact size. All right, let's go to the living space because this could be very good for me because I kill every plant that I own. Tell me about this. So this is actually our living wall. Mm -hmm. um, right now, there aren't a lot of plants in it, as you can see, mm -hmm. but we'll be filled with plants, and it'll be a self-watering system um, that'll add a lot of greenery to the inside of the house. And to make it more sustainable, you were thinking herbs, right? Right, so you mm -hmm. grab the herbs right and to, then the kitchen. to the kitchen. All right, and then this could be the coolest feature for lazy people like me. Mm. Tell me about this glass. So our glass also has a coating on it. It's mm -hmm. called a photocatalytic coating. Mm -hmm. It is a basically a solar-powered cleaning film mm -hmm. that when light hits it, it removes um, volatile chemicals and dust and dirt from the surface to automatically self-clean all of your windows. That's awesome. We, uh, we oh, and then the, the TV you wanted to point mm -hmm. it out too. So the TV is actually set within the wall. Mm -hmm. So we're using uh, modular interior wall partitions. So the TV is actually set behind it. So you don't see a mounting bracket, and when it turns on, it's behind this finish. Bill, what has been the most exciting part of designing this and putting it together? I think the most exciting part is being able to see it from just conceptually mm -hmm. all the way up to it's actually built. So right. this was just on a piece of paper for several months, mm -hmm. and now I'm standing inside something that took me years to make. That's really cool. When we come back, more from Northwestern University. Thank you. We are looking at the Enable Home by Northwestern that is going to competition in October. So they're picking up the pieces and sending it over to Denver, Colorado. Bill Bach work in this. He's a student at Northwestern University. Tell me about this second room. So this second room is what we call a convertible room. Mm -hmm. um, we've designed it so it can be used as a home office space 
with uh, a pull-out couch that can also be used for sleeping occasionally, mm -hmm. but you also have the ability to convert it to a full second bedroom mm -hmm. if in case that's needed later on. Bill, so this was not only about solar panels and recycled furniture, this was also about designing and how to make it a house that's more functional. Yes, we tried to make it as functional as possible as, a nor as any normal house would be, mm -hmm. um, and even more so than that because we want it to basically age in place with whoever ends up owning the house. I like that age in place. When we come back, we'll have more from Northwestern. Back to you guys. The Enable House is on its way to the solar decathlon in Denver, Cal in Denver, Colorado, but it had a specific group in mind when it was designed by Northwestern University students. Lila Reynolds is one of them. Good morning. Good morning. So who is this house for? So we built this house for baby boomers who are looking to downsize from their current homes because only 1% of the housing market is suitable for uh, people who want to age in place and stay in their homes uh, with accessibility features like wheelchair access and um, like handlebars and things like that. Got it. So in the kitchen we see this how? Because you have space. Sure. So there's there's three feet access, of course, for wheelchairs to come around. And when we were interviewing and doing research with our baby boomers, um, people were saying, like, we hate our kitchens. We're always <laughs> bumping into each other when we're when we're doing things. Um, so we designed it so that you know the uh, fridge. You can use the fridge and the island mm -hmm. while someone else is using the stove. Okay. Someone else is using uh, the dishwasher. So Got everything's it. placed carefully. And now that you're talking about that, I want to talk appliances with Gigi Lubin from Becco. Good morning. Good morning, Anna. Uh, so tell me about how these are energy efficient and why you're participating with these guys. Sure. Well, Becco US is proud to be sponsoring seven of the 12 teams that are participating in the Solar Decathlon. But we're especially excited about Northwestern because both. Becco Echo and Northwestern are from the Chicago area. Perfect. So, so you're rooting for us. We are. <laughs> so we're providing all the appliances. And if you see here, in addition to energy efficiency, oh. they have knob illumination, which mm -hmm. is so cool because it lets you know your oven is on and that you don't want to leave it unattended. Perfect. And you yep. said something about the Energy Star look, label. Yes. Look for the Energy Star label. All these appliances meet the Energy Star requirements. And if you look for this on your appliances when you're purchasing, you can save up to $630 over the lifetime of product. I'm going to let Lila open the refrigerator. What did you want to say about the refrigerator? Oh this refrigerator, in addition to all the energy savings mm -hmm. and conservation stuff, is the blue light technology. You'll see this is lit up blue and it has Everfresh Plus. And what that does mm -hmm. is it helps keep your food fresher three times longer. So there's less food waste. All right. Switch around. I want to ask Lila, how are we looking for this competition? Um, we're pulling on winning. <laughs> And that's how we roll here at Northwestern University. Congratulations, it looks really cool. Guys, it's around town for Friday. I'll send it back to you.